All right. latest and greatest compositions. Okay. It is something I've been thinking about for a very long time. In consciousness, we have a one-eyed, one-horn, flying, purple people dangler and dog. There's a purple dog over there. Now, see, so it's like uh, some kind of monster that has a hypnotic eye. That hypnotic eye draws you in to this whirlpool of disaster or the gnashing teeth on this monstrous or monstrosity. But uh, is it really harmful to to anyone that has dangling? It's just like 
the supernova consciousness attracts the, you know, the follower, attracts the, you know, the, those seeking penance, and it just sucks them dry. It gets in their brain and just, you know, even the dog, you know. And so these are purple people that, you know, they're on the spiritual path, going after awareness and consciousness. But when you get too close to that, you get chewed up. You get caught right there in between the molars and munched. Okay, so that's where supernova consciousness leads to in this life. So I'm doing this as a um, memorial for you, my viewing public. And just remember the title is, this is a one-eyed, one-horned, okay, and it's a flying, you see the wing, the purple wing? It's a flying purple people dangler. They're dangling, okay? You don't hear that term too often. With a purple dog. This is, you know, what happens when you humanize animals. They become just like you. That, so that Wiener Schnitzel is purple now because of supernova consciousness and following, you know, all that spiritual development of the masters. I don't know why they call these guys the masters anyways. It's the naked. Look at that. She ain't got no clothes on. And she's all gritty and stuff, you know, that purple business, you know. It's down earthy, gritty. So she's, he's got a big belly, you know. What is that coloration on that? Look at that belly. It's all full of gold and stuff, you know. Look at her. Boy, she's a ruinous mess, you know. Filth. So, this is my latest image. And then, I'm doing this thing so that I can get my ducks in a row, you know. That little queer duck there, I think that's me. And this one here, that's my friend, you know. And this one here, over here, that's another friend of mine, okay. That's Pierre the duck. He's a weird duck, too. But then, I have other images that I like also. Look at, look at the ass on this one. Look at that. Now, you could put, you know... You could put a cocktail on it. It would be a serving table. And so, this is me personified as a velvety goat, like a rabbit goat, okay? And I'm uh, amorously attached to this right there, the yoni. And this piece is called Fool. Moon. F O O L. Moon. So, that's interesting piece. Now, I come over here, that's Command Central, but above it is Quackers. And this is how I feel about the general population. You know, these are white ducks that are got a redneck attitude, right? So, they just go on and on, watch their lips move, you know, but they're not really saying anything, you know, but their lips are moving, man, you know, they're quackers, not quakers, quackers, even quackers are like what society is comprised of, the trinity of divinity in quackers, is they're all around us, but as you can see by their coloring, it's all abstract. They got abstract color. So I prefer images with the heart imbued 
spirit and prayer for peace and pizza. You know, and this uh, sunset is always a very nice thing. And this year, this is like tumbling hearts, you know. And the hearts, like I said, represent, they're like prayers for peace and pizza. But they're significant that in the first 10 years of this century, uh, nine of it, we were at war. And I was doing a series of paintings with the heart and brute spirit. Now, because of that, I lost all these people. These are all, everybody related to me. And they're all gone. They all deserted me, kicked me under the bus, you know. They can't help it. They just have a limited compassion for the human condition. I love them anyway. So God bless them, but, you know, they just are sworn in a secrecy. <laughs> Well, this is my door, and I'm running out of power, so I have to say adios, goodbye, and uh, see you soon again on YouTube. I love you all, and from the bottom of my heart, aloha. <laughs>